Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we start our presentation, let's recite basmalah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah, we are going to deliver our three speakers who are going to deliver the presentation, right? The first one is Rish. Oke, okay, there are three speakers for today for the presentation. So please prepare for both the camera and the microphone. Yeah, before we go to the presenters who are going to deliver their presentation, I would like to uh, give the rules about what should you do to do the presentation because there are some mistakes in doing the or the open uh, in opening the presentation at the first one because we are doing it directly. So you uh, greet your friends at the first time. You don't forget to greet your friends by saying, for example, like, hello, friends. Good morning. Oi. Hello guys, today I would like to do a presentation or I would like to deliver a presentation or I would like to present. I can't remember. Presentation means the announce, so you have to use verb to connect it. I would like to deliver a presentation or I would like to do a presentation or I would like to deliver a presentation or I would like to present. Okay, a favorite song like that so and the the closing you have to make the conclusion okay first before you do close it so you have to uh, conclude by saying that uh, based on my interviewing or based my interview totally or most or mostly people love to listen not hear it because it is not a uh, hear means that you unconsciously listen but listen means you uh, music is not here but listened because you actually consciously to listen the song so you say that uh, based on my interview i can conclude that most people love to listen the pop instead of rock the reasons are blah 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 blah. you have to talk and the presentation as well okay for the presentation presenters please pay attention for the greeting the main things you have to present as well as the conclusion or the closing of your presentation. I think that's all. Yes. yes. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Medin and I'm going to tell you about interview my favorite song. Well, first, this is my mother. Her name is Mrs. Adita Malena Bintari. Her favorite song is Cinta Sejati. The singer is Bhat Chitra Lestari. The genre is pop. Her, her, her reason is the lyrics are beautiful and the meaning is deep. Next, next is my brother. His name is Mamata Fidianto. His favorite song is Tokyo. The singer is Thundercat. The genre is R&B. The reason is it gives you a feeling like you're living in Tokyo. Next, this is my friend from uh, 10 Science 1. Her name is Mashela Marcinta. Her favorite song is Love Story. The singer is Taylor Swift and the genre is country music. The reason is because the beat is good. And then next, this is my other friend. Her name is Tabina Dahayu. Her favorite song is La La You. The singer is Nikki and 88 Rising. The genre is pop. The reason is the song is good and the meaning of the lyrics are very deep. And next, the Naura. Her favorite song is Best Mistake. The singer is Arana Grande, the genre is pop. Her reason is because the song sounds good. And next, this is my cousin. His name is Moharim. The song is feels like we only go backwards. The singer is Tim Impala, generous, alternative, or indie. His reason for the song is good to listen. Next, this is my other cousin. His name is Mama Tifa Mawana. His favorite song is To Windu. The singer is Tulus. The genre is pop. And the lyrics are beautiful. The most, most people love to listen to pop, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so what is actually the reason why they love it? Uh, because, because it's easy, easy to listen. Listen. Okay. That's all? Okay, okay that's, that's all. all. Um, 
Thank Any questions you. so far, guys, about the interviewee? Or about the presentation that delivered by Medin? Has it been clear, clear enough, right? But, uh, actually, mostly love to listen pop because of, it is easy to be listened. Okay, that's all for the first presentation delivered by Medin. Okay, let's continue for the second presenter. Sarah Frida or Riz, which one? I'm ready, I'm ready. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I'm going to present my uh, what I call results on the favorite song interview. Um, I interviewed a total of ten people, and if I can say uh, say so for myself, the ten people that I interviewed are how shall, how shall I say uh, quite diverse. Uh, a, co a quite diverse group of music lovers. Now, uh, before starting, I would like to say that some of the songs mentioned uh, contain vulgar language and or adult offensive obscene themes, but they would be detailed and will be explained as PG as possible. Uh, all of them, all of, all of the people that are interviewed are friends of mine that I met before, during, before or during high school and online friends. Uh, some of the people that are mentioned don't have their own audio recordings, the reason that being that they do not consent, or they do not have their own face or uh, a picture of their face, or they don't have their full name, uh, the reason being that they do not consent uh, for their face uh, and their full name to be in the presentation. Right? Uh, taste in music and entertainment as a whole are purely subjective. Therefore, the viewer of this presentation does not have the right to criticize or judge the songs in this presentation. The fact that everyone's different must be respected and intolerance is not tolerable. These are the current favorite songs and they might subject to change. Right. The first one is... Oh, wait, hold on. The... Mm -mm. Hold on. I put shuffle on. Uh, the first one is... My friend from middle school, Fallen. His favorite song is Baby by the Peggies uh, from the album Hell Like Heaven. It's a 2017 song and it's K-pop. The song comes, uh, well, he knows, uh, he originally knows a song from the 10th episode of the critically acclaimed anime, Shishun Buta Yaruwa Bandigala Senpai Ono Yume Wa Minai. And the reasons on why this is his favorite song is that he said that it is quite catchy. I mean, he even can't believe until why he likes hearing cute voice girls with electric guitars. Again, he believes the song is catchy. And uh, he said that the song is energetic and it made him, when listening to the song, it made him want to do something. Uh, and he said that it is a lot of fun and it sounds positive. The next one is Arif. Uh, my, uh, what do you call it, senpai, I guess, yeah. Um, his favorite song is Nocturne in E flat major, OP9 number 2, by Frederick Chopin. Uh, it's, of course, it's from, it's a really old one, it's from 1831 and it's classical. Uh, where does he know it from? Well, this piece is really popular and it's very hard for everyone not to notice it. And if you listen to this song, you might have heard it from a movie or a radio or something. And uh, the reason, the reason on why this is a serious song is that it is one of the pieces that got him into classical music. He said after listening to this, he discovered the world of classical music and he never, uh, he never came back to the radio. Uh, the classical world he described is so different to the music people he knew in the radio. He, um, after listening to the song, uh, he loves classical, the, the classical genre so much. He even has a playlist of about 500 songs that has a total of 50 hours. Um, yeah, that's, that's a tangent. Um, and another reason is that uh, this piece has helped him go through tough times and good times. He describes the piece as one that is able to adapt to certain situations. For example, if you're sad and you're going, uh, you're going to get sad if you listen to this song, and if you're happy, uh, like when you listen, you listen to this song after you go on a date or after you went hang out with your friends in a mall in a theme park or something, and then you listen back to the song at night, you're going to reflect back on times when you were happy, like uh, the happy the, the happy moments. So basically, I'm not being sorry. Just, never mind. Okay, next one um, is 
uh, my friend Tab. Um, his song is a bit unique. Uh, favorite song is Ruru Chano Jisatu Haishin, which translates to Ruru's live stream suicide show. Uh, the by Shinsei Kameta Chan uh, from the album Dido Karte or uh, uh, sorry, Child's Medical Record. It's a 2019 song and it's uh, J pop, as you may have guessed. Uh, where is it from? Well, he knows it. He discovered it when he was walking down in an, 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 uh, an MRT. What kind of MRT he was taking? I have no idea. Uh, the reason song, why is this favorite song? Well, the hidden meaning behind the upbeat song. This, the song is about someone who is suicidal, therefore she wants to kill herself because she thinks everyone else doesn't care about her. And uh, he, some, somehow he found, um, what do you call it, a silver lining in the song, uh, in which uh, he, what do you call it, this, that silver lining made him want to do better. Now, the song made him think he needs to be better outside and to make people view him as a good person. The song made him want to uh, make connections with as many as people as possible. And he wants those people to appreciate him for who he is. Okay, uh, next to is my friend Alip. Uh, his favorite song, of course, is uh, Sicker Mode by Travis Scott, featuring Rick, uh, from the album Astro World. It's the, the 2018 song, it's hip hop. It's very popular, if you don't know. Um, the origin, well, yeah, again, it's very popular. <laughs> uh, for him, it was from, from the radio. Uh, reasons why is this the song? Well, he's a fan of Travis Scott, and he likes hip hop. The next one is my friend Faris. Uh, not our Faris, because this Faris has an S on it. Um, his favorite song is Accept It's Your Last, and it's, again, it's black, uh, it's, of course, black thing. Uh, and it's a single, it's, it's K-pop, yeah, you might have guessed it already. Uh, where is it from? Well, it's from, it's from a really popular K-pop group. It's very hard for not, people not to do this. I mean, most of you guys know who Blackpink are, you know. I mean, for him, you know, from YouTube. The reason why this is his favorite song, well, he loves Blackpink. And he said the song is catchy and good for listening under stress. Next one is my friend Pharrell. Oh, God, it doesn't work. Oh, oh. Okay, it does work. His favorite song is Ransom by Lil Tecca from the album We Love You, Tecca. Uh, it's a 2019 song and it's hip hop. Oh, the origin? Oh, he was standing on YouTube and he saw it on YouTube, of course. Uh, the reason on why this is his favorite song, he said he really loves rap and rapping and he feels happy and motivated when he, uh, he listens to it. The next one is Our Boy Salman. Uh, yes, uh, I interviewed Salman for, for once. Uh, his favorite song is Humility featuring George Benson by the band, the, by the virtual British band Gorillaz uh, from the album The Now Now, which is one of my, probably one of my favorite albums. And it's a 2018 song. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's from 2018 and it's a pop song. From where do you know is it from? Well, he was a long time ago, it's like I did. Uh, so the album was already under his radar even before the release. The reasons on why this is favorite song? Well, the song is relaxing and calming, he said, and uh, there's a meaning behind it. He, he, likes, he likes a meaning behind it. He said the song is about finding inner peace and being over <clears throat> This one I actually uh, kind of relate to, but I would not like to explain any further. Hey, the next one is... My boy Almas, uh, he's a senpai of mine. His favorite song is With the Love in My Heart by Jacob Collier, uh, featuring Jules Buckley and Metropole Orchestra. It's, uh, sorry, the, it's from the album Jesse, Volume 1, and it's a 2018 song, and it's uh, a jazz song. Uh, from where does he know it from? Well, he knows it out of, uh, out of his curiosity. The artist, he said that the artist won several Grammys, and that made him look him up. And then he listened to his songs, and then he found this one. Why is this a serious song? Well, he said that he has a unique arrangement. To quote him, the song has a really complex arrangement and a drunk feel to the intro and the interlude. Not only that, but he also said that it also has complex drums and percussion at the first and second verse. And the reason that is that the song is not simple, and it has a unique melody. 
and lyrics wise it's he said that it's pretty fun and uh, i guess this is the last one oh yeah this is oh wait no it's not the last one uh next one is dante uh his favorite song is heavens on fire by the radio department he's a another friend of mine uh from the album playing to his team it's a 2018 song and it's uh, all talk indie i can't actually find the uh genre for this one so i took i'll talk in indie so uh apologies if uh this song has the wrong genre from where he knows it from well he was really into indie back then uh, that love in indie that made him stumble upon the radio department the reason on why this is his favorite song well he said uh, because of the nostalgia the first time he listened to this song was 10 years ago and when he listened to yeah he, he felt nostalgic uh and he said that he's into indie music so that's why he likes it so much and the uh, last one is talita uh which is another friend of mine his uh oh sorry her song her favorite song is kokoro yahoo which uh translates to forecast by eve from the album smile uh it's a 2019 song and it's k-pop from where she knows it from well she knows it uh well actually the song was created as a commercial for uh lotte gana chocolate pink valentine in which uh it features three lotte i have no idea why i wrote this it, it features uh, three original characters akane momo and yuki she stumbled upon the song on youtube and fell in love with it the reason on why she fell in love with it well it gives off happy vibes and uh, he, she said that the song sounds cute and she's also said that Oh, uh, he has a great music video. Okay, that's it. So, 30% is K-pop. Uh, 20% is K-pop. Uh, sorry, 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 no, K-pop, K-pop. 10% is, what's it called? Yeah, K-pop. And uh, there's one, there's 10% of pop, and uh, one uh, 10% of jazz, and 10% of alt-pop. Uh, that, that's got to be 100 in total, yeah. So, mostly so, left. Sorry, what? So the most people love the song. What kind of yeah, songs yeah, mo- uh, do you love? Most, most, uh, most, most of the people I interviewed uh, love uh, J-pop because um, they are um, they are interested in Japanese culture. Yes. Mm, okay. So most of the one who you interviewed most uh, mostly love to your to the Japanese song, right? And yes. The thing I lo- I eager to know is about. Talking about someone who is going to suicide or is doing kind of the streaming live streaming oh, yeah, that one, suicide. Yeah, that one. That, you, that one. That one. I actually, uh, I actually, actually interviewed him, and he said that this is his favorite song mm-hmm. because uh, the song made him want to do the opposite oh, okay. of what. Okay. Yeah, you know, he doesn't so want to kill himself; but he wants to live better. You know. Mm, yes, I know. That. So it means that's like uh, give a very. Not the the bad impact, but good impact for him, right? Yes, so like it, it, it is good impact. I told you before. It, uh, the song gives him a silver lining, in which, uh, like in the presentation, it made him uh, thinks he need to do better outside, and okay. he want to make people feel him as a good person, etc., yes. etc. Et yeah. Okay. So actually, do you think that the video of the, I mean, the the video of the songs, really talking about? the one or it is actually based on the someone's live streaming while doing kind of the suicide it is based on the fact actually um i don't think so because the music video is styled it is drawn it animated and anime style oh, okay so i don't think it's based on anyone okay okay now uh if there is no is there a question guys from you from others Hello? Science one? Is there a question about... I think it is very good uh, presentation. Why I said that? Because you you have very extreme songs that you have already mentioned before. Yeah, okay. Any other question related to the song or related to the interview? If there is no, you may close your presentation. Okay. Okay? Uh, I would like to present my friend and family favorite song. I've been interviewing uh, a lot of friends and some of my family members. 
Okay, I've been interviewing some of my friends. The first one is Shahla. Uh, her favorite song is This Is Me by Keanu Settle. Uh, it's a pop song. The reason she like it because it tells you how to love yourself and stop being insecure about how you look. This is the song. This is my junior high school friend, Nora. Uh, her favorite song is January by Gern Fredly. Uh, it's a pop song. It's her favorite song right now because it kind of relates to her love life condition right now. So, yeah. uh, The next one is my also junior high school friend, uh, Devi. Her favorite song is All I Want by Olivia. It's a pop song. Uh, the reason she liked it because that song remind reminds her of her past. I don't know her ex boyfriend maybe. Uh, now it's my favorite song. It's temporary nothing. The reason why she loves that song is because the song has message that we shouldn't give up at any situation, no matter how painful it is, because the pain is only temporary. The next one is also from my junior high school friend, uh, Danan. He loves the song If You Know If You Know That I'm Lonely by Fur. It's a pop song. He likes this because the, uh, he loves that kind of fluffy beat. Uh, he said it gave her, it gave his, it, it gave her, it gave him chills. Next one is Alin. Her favorite song is Hello You by Iqbal Ramadan. It's her favorite singer, so he love everything about him. Okay. Next one is Dinda. Her favorite song is I Could Fly by One Direction. He, she really like that song and the singer. The next one is Haris, also my junior high school friend. Uh, his favorite singer, his favorite song is Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. It's a pop song. Uh, he like it because he loves to sing it and he also can play it on guitar. Uh, the next one is Ninda. Uh, her favorite song is Running Through Love by Sabina Claudio. Uh, he, she said it's the best song ever. I, he, she loves that beat. It's a pop song. Next one is My Sister and My Brother in Love. My sister's favorite song is uh, Blackbird by The Beat. Does because she said it brings back childhood memories because our father loves to play it. Also, the beat is very peaceful. The next one is my brother in love. Uh, his favorite song is How Much a Dollar Cost by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, he said because of the story he's telling, he judged a bum who asked for some money by thinking he, he will use it for drugs. Turned out that was a drug test and he was failed. The last one is My Father, uh, his favorite song. Okay. His favorite song is Another Bitch in the Wall by Pink Floyd. It was, it was a rock song. Uh, he, he loved it because it was an everlasting music, even though it was an old song. It's still catchy and also has a good great meaning so the conclusion is uh seven of 12 people i interview love pop song uh, i think because of the beat and the yeah it's catchy so yeah that's all for me thank you okay sarah frida what about the percentage of your interview uh it's uh 58 percent of pop uh, 50 yeah 50 uh 60 yeah 58 18 percent after uh, of alternative indie uh 24 percent of folk rap hip-hop and rock Okay, now please make the conclusions of your presentation. You so, uh, uh, it is better. I want to see your face. You just speak up directly. 
Okay, come on, make the conclusion. Uh, based, based on the in based, based on the interview, mostly people love to listen to pop song. I think it's because the uh, the beat is very catchy and also it's easy listening. And uh, mostly the the lyrics is kind of related to our situation right now. Some of us. Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Give a big applause for the three speakers today. Maylin, Reese, and Sarah Frida. Okay, guys. Thank you for your attention. As well as your uh, joining me for this live conference. And I'm very happy today that three of you have already presented the all interview or the all materials. Very good. Excellently. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Bye-bye. See you next time. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, miss.